Hello soulmate, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nelo and you're watching Nelo Stitches. Today's tutorial I'll be learning how to cut a double sleeve, um, a double peplum sleeve. Okay, it's an off shoulder double peplum sleeve. If this is what you're interested in, please keep watching, like and share my video. If you are new to my channel, please hit on the subscribe button below and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so to make the off shoulder sleeve, what you need to do is to get your dress and measure it like so. What I have here is 15 minus 1 half inch here, half inch the other side for joining of the sleeve. So I have 14. I'm going to do the same for the back panel. I'm going to measure the back neck um, shoulder. What I have is also 15 half inch here, half inch here. That's one. So what I have is 14. Front 14, back 14. My, um, you add them together 14 plus 14 will give us 28 so and the round shoulder i'm working with is 42 so 42 minus 28 will have 14 so you divide the 14 into 2 for the two sleeve 14 divided by 2 will give us 7 so we'll be working with 7 so to get the red shoes for the sleeve you divide that 7 by 6.28 okay to get the reduce for the sleeve you divide the seven by 6.28 whatever you have you add it up to the sleeve length you're working with so when i divide the seven by six for um 6.28 i had 1.1 plus okay so that 1.1 i'll add it to five inches that is the length for the sleeve so remember to add one inch for sewing allowance of the sleeve turning it with lining and joining it at the upper part so let's say the length you want to work with is five so five plus one for sewing allowance will make it six the six plus one point one which is the ratios for your sleeve will make it seven point one right so what you do now when you get your material you just measure your 7.1 okay you measure it like so so for me the length i want for my sleeve is six inches six plus one for sewing allowance will make it seven then seven plus 1.1 will make it um 8.1 so but i'm just going to fold 8.5 okay like so this is 8.5 so when you get your measurement whatever length you're working with just add your ratios and your one inch for sewing allowance so in my case it's 8.5 and i'm going to fold it like this 8.5 like so and i am also going to measure the same 8.5 just like we are folding our normal flay okay normal peplum or something so from here i'll measure the same 8.5 like this and i will fold okay so next i'm going to be taking the radius for the sleeve okay so the radius is supposed to be 1.1 but i'm doing 1.5 because of sewing allowance we need half inch i mean one inch sewing allowance for joining of the sleeve to the dress okay so after marking this next i'm going to mark the actual length which is 8.5 okay from the tip i'm going to take the length just like we normally do our peplum guys just like we normally do our peplum okay so i'm trying to measure to see if i'm gonna get at least the sewing allowance and yeah it came out so i'm going to measure the actual length of the sleeve now Okay, so now we're measuring the actual length of the sleeve, which is 8.5. So any length you're working with, just measure it like so. Make sure your tape is at the tip of the fabric like this. And then you connect. And after this, I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to use these same pieces, um, what I cut out to cut the second part of the sleeve. Because actually this one is one. So I'll use this to cut the second part of the sleeve. Okay. So I'm just going to measure to see if I have enough. And of course, I have more than enough. Okay, so I'll use this to cut the second 
part of the sleeve, the second side of the sleeve. So I've done that as you can see and next is to cut the other color. So the down part of the sleeve. So the length is one, I want it to be one inch longer than the other one. So I just marked the one inch. So it depends on you, any length you want. If you want it two inches longer, you can mark. If you want it three inches longer, but the, well, for me, I'm using one inch longer. So I just placed it and mark it and cut out like so. So I'll be using the orange color to cut the second one also. So here, we have the two layer for the orange and two layer for the African print. Okay. So next we are going to be marking our armhole. Okay. So two layer for the orange, two layer for the African print. So here we're going to mark the armhole. So the mark, to mark the armhole, you're going to measure your sleeve. Remember we said the sleeve is seven inches. And because this fabric is on fold, seven divided by two is 3.5 and to that i'm going to add half inch for sewing allowance making it four inches so i'm going to mark at on four here like so like this and then i'm going to bring the dress to trace out the armhole okay so i'm going to place the dress like this make sure it's getting to the tip you place it this way and then you're going to mark out the arm opening the armhole like so Okay, so this is the armhole. I'm just gonna cover it better and I'll cut this out. I'll do the same thing to the orange color. So I'll just open this part up. I'll open this down part up like this. Okay, so next I'm going to be cutting my lining exactly the same as this. Okay, I'll be cutting my lining. So I'm trying to check if it's going to match. And yeah, it did. Okay. So I'm going to get my lining exactly the same color. Uh, matching color. So you can decide to turn with lining. You can decide not to turn with lining. So let me measure here. As you can see, what we have here is actually 8. Even more than 8, 7. Okay. For the sleeve so next you're going to bring the other color the orange color and then you place this other one on top so like you see uh like you can see the orange i've already cut out the armhole also so you can turn your sleeve with a bias the down part with a bias and then you place it on each other like so and then you sew from the armhole from one armhole to the other just to keep them in place so that they will be one piece and not two again, okay? You sew from one armhole to the other armhole. And then here you're going to pipe this upper part that is going to be on your shoulder. You're going to pipe that part after which you shape your sleeve, okay? You pipe here and after that you fold and shape. But for me, I'll be using lining for this, okay? So here I've turned this down part with lining, as you can see, and the side also. I also turned the side with lining, and I did the same to this other one. So I used the matching color for this also. So next, I'm going to place this on each other, and then I'm going to pipe the shoulder area, the sleeve side, okay, not the armhole. So I'm going to place the Ankara, the African print on top of it like so, and then I'm going to join them together from one armhole to the other armhole, from one armhole to the other armhole. I'm going to join them so that it will be one piece before I will now pipe this other side. Okay. Okay. So I'll do the same to the other sleeve. Okay. So here uh, I've, I've piped this other part sorry the camera wasn't um did not capture there so i got a one yard i mean one inch with um width yeah one inch width fabric and the length is 10 inches so i fold it in half and then i sew place it on the wrong side so this orange color part is going to be the inside so i I will call that the wrong part of the sleeve. So you fold in two and sew. So let me use my pin and hold it to show you guys. So you sew it 
round to the other end and then you turn and top stitch on the right side of the sleeve okay you top stitch on the right side and this is what it looks like not on the armhole or the part that is going to be on your shoulder as you can see okay so after that you're going to fold your sleeve into two and you shape okay so i turned everywhere including the side so you're going to fold your sleeve into two like so. And you're going to shape. Okay, you shape. So I'm going to do that and I will show you guys. You close it up like this. So if your armhole is not enough, if it's not up to, if it's not matching, you can still trim. So here I fixed one side of the sleeve and I'm going to show you how I did that on the other one, okay? So this is one side of the sleeve. So now if your armhole is not matching, the armhole of the sleeve is not matching the armhole of the dress, all you need to do is to trim. So let me get the other sleeve and show you guys. Like this one now, as you can see, it's small. It's not matching the armhole of the dress after shaping it. So not to worry, just trim out, okay? So what I'll do is to just check and then know how much I need to trim, okay? I'll just check it to know how much I need to trim before I trim out. So, and after trimming, and I'm just going to fix it to the sleeve. So let me show you how I'm going to trim this. So I'll just trim out a little like so, the armhole like this, and then I'll measure it again to see if it's okay. If it's not okay, you can still trim out more, okay? So after trimming, I'm just going to measure it, match it to the dress armhole to be sure. So you make sure the seam allowance matching each other as you can see it matches now so i'll just take it to the sewing machine and sew it and we are done our off shoulder flay sleeve is ready thank you guys so much for watching please like and share this video subscribe if you are new if you have any question don't forget to ask me on the comment below and i'll attend to that see you in my next tutorial i love you guys bye